Hello, sisters and brothers. I'm Christopher Albright, your church council chair, and uh, pinch hitting for Pastor Doug on this week's weekly video message. Uh, I do want to ask that you continue to keep Pastor Doug and Dee in your prayers as Dee uh, continues to recover from her heart surgery that she had earlier this week. So do please continue to lift them up. As we know, prayer works. So things are looking good, but we'll just continue to keep them in our prayers as Dee continues to recover. A couple of uh, reminders. Uh, we do have, I have a schedule to go over with you. Uh, in fact, we have quite a few services uh, over the next few days beginning today. But uh, I did want to let you know that if you haven't done so, uh, it's, it's very helpful if you contact the church office and reserve your seats for all the in-person services. It's not a requirement, but it does help us uh, figure out how much space we need to uh, prepare uh, and be ready uh, for. Uh, we will continue to practice social distancing and uh, wear your best Sunday mask. And again, if you don't have a mask or uh, are in need of one, one way or the other, we do have some. So if you don't have it, don't let that keep you away. Um, the ways you can get in touch with us, 957-4481 uh, will get you in touch with the church office. That's one way you can RSVP. Another is to simply email wesleyum.office at gmail.com. For those of you that are worshiping at home, all of these services are going to be uh, live streamed. So you can catch us online there as well. You can see it on Facebook. YouTube, or you can simply go to the church website, wesleyum.org. Also want to uh, mention a few other folks who have recently had surgery or are recovering at home. Uh, Wayne Parsons, continue to keep him in your prayers as he recently had surgery. Um, Martiel Edwards, Millie Snyder, and Joe Baker all continue to recover at home. So please Lift them up and keep them in your prayers. Now, for this week, starting today, you've got a live service, which you can join in person or online. That's a little bit later on tonight at 7 p.m. That's Monday, Thursday, today. Tomorrow, Good Friday, we're calling that an at-your-convenience service. We're offering a pre-recorded online worship service for you to view and to meditate at your own convenience. This service will be available by 7 a.m. on Facebook, YouTube, and the church website, where we will observe the stations of the cross. Easter Sunday, we have two services. The first, sunrise service, which will be at 7 a.m. That will be an in-person but outdoors service. And following that, we have the traditional 9 a.m. Uh, service that will be also outdoors, but will be also uh, seen online. That Easter sunrise service, by the way, will not uh, be streamed online, but the 9 a.m. service will be. Uh, you'll want to dress accordingly uh, for the weather. Uh, you can bring your own chair, or if you would like, you can sit and listen to the service in your car. We're very excited about this. Um, we have a, an FM transmitter, uh, so you can tune your radios to 93.1, where you can simply sit in your car and listen to the service if that's what you would prefer to do. Um, Sunday, April 11th, which we're looking a little bit past uh, Easter Sunday, that's at 9 a.m. Uh, we'll have a shared worship service from the Susquehanna Conference. That is online only, so there is no in-person Service, again, that is a service provided from the Susquehanna Conference. And then on the Sunday, April 18th at 9 a.m., we are back to the sanctuary and online. Uh, for all in-person services, remember, you can let us know. Uh, RSVP does help. Not a requirement, but it does help. Vacation Bible School is coming your way. Uh, we're a couple of months away from that, but time does go quickly. July 18th through the 22nd, uh, they are still in need of volunteers. You can contact Amy Whitworth for complete details on how to help. And also, the Wesley Preschool is partnering with Duck Donuts in Mechanicsburg for a fundraiser that's taking place April 18th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Again, proceeds will benefit 
the Wesley Preschool. Sounds like a, a winner to me. Donuts, always good, helping the preschool. So if you're uh, in town or in, in the area and you want to help them out, that's a, that's a good place to go. I wanted to close things out with some scripture I think is uh, appropriate, particularly for today being Monday Thursday, and as well uh, as, as Holy Week. Turning to the book of John, chapter 13, verses 31 through 35. Uh, this is entitled, The New Commandment. After Judas had left, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man's glory is revealed. Now God's glory is revealed through him. And if God's glory is revealed through him, then God will reveal the glory of the Son of Man in himself, and he will do so at once. My children, I shall not be with you very much longer. You will look for me, but I will tell you now what I told the Jewish authorities. You cannot go where I am going. And now I give you a commandment. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. If you have love for one another, then everyone will know that you are my disciples. We look forward to seeing you over these next few days as we build up to Easter Sunday when we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shall we end with prayer? Father God, we thank you for this time together when we can celebrate the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, and the gift that you have given to all of us in wiping away all of our sins. May we always have that in mind in the work we do. Lord, heal our world, heal our country and every nation in the world, Lord. May they come to know you, Lord, and we pray for those who are suffering. May they know your presence and feel your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll see you this week. Thank you.